I haven't forgotten about multiplayer. I've just been way wrapped up in zombies. That mode is way more fun than I ever thought it would be. But to get us back on the swing of camo grinding over here in multiplayer, I'm gonna be doing one of my favorite weapon classes. And that class is melee weapons. Now this shouldn't take us too long, knock on wood, but this only has one camo for the base camo challenges and that gets 50 kills. Where things get a little more difficult though is when we move over here to our gold challenge where we need to get 10 kills on operators affected by your tactical. I have not heard good things about this challenge. I've heard it's very difficult to do. So hopefully we'll be able to knock it out. And once we get this done and our gutter knife done, which both have the same camo challenges, we can unlock the ability to get our forge camo challenge here. 20 kills without the enemy damaging you with the karambit. That's crazy. I think the gutter knife actually has a different one. Oh yeah, it does. We need to get five kills without dying five times. That's going to be tough. And at the time I'm recording this, Rust 24-7 isn't out yet, so maybe it'll be easier to get done on Rust. Or maybe I just get killed a lot easier, but let's go ahead and try this on terminal. And to start us out, I'm going to use the karambit because it looks cooler and and probably has the cooler animation. But normally when I'm doing melee weapons, I use smoke grenades to get around the map, but I'm pretty sure for our tactical challenge, we won't get any progress for enemies affected by smoke. I don't know that for sure, but you definitely don't get any pop-up or hit marker or anything for smoking enemies out. But you do for flashing them and I need to get used to doing it. But ever since I came back to COD in Modern Warfare 2019, melee weapons have become my favorite class to do. Just because it's so much fun, like trying to run around the map, like outplay people, like with my movement, you know, juke them out a little bit, make them feel silly. And you can tell people always get mad when they get killed by a melee weapon. I've never gotten body sprayed more times than I have using one of these. And I usually don't even like go positive with them because I play a very rush down play style, which the melee weapons actually help out a little bit because I'm always just going to run right at somebody trying to kill them. I don't know why I do it, but since I already do it, might as well knife some people, but a, a pretty hefty amount of time. I'm going to get killed before I even get to the person. That's why I normally keep throwing knives on me when I'm using a melee weapon. That way, if there's any like long range fights, I can just throw the throwing knife at them and hopefully survive. If there's like no cover around for me to get to and they're just fun, but I might have to give up the throwing knives for that engineer vest. I think it is that gives you multiple nades or multiple tacticals because the vest I have on right now helps replenish the tacticals and lethals, but we'll see just how difficult it is trying to get our kills while the enemies are affected by our tactical. Ooh. Ooh, oh, we traded. And just because I always get this question whenever I'm using a throwing knife with my melees, no, the throwing knife does not count for kills on your melee. I wish it did. Ooh, ooh, that's a quick double. Anyone else wanna fuck with me? This guy does. Ooh, -hoo. I hear somebody. Come over here. There we go. There's another. Someone's on the hard point. Not for long. Oh, jump over their shit. There we go. And that's another one. Oh, SBMM is going to have a field day with me after this. I'm still going to go negative this game too. I can just smell it. There we go. Oh, that throwing knife should have hit. That seemed like I was on target. I want to see if it even went by his head. Oh, barely missed. Hit the wall next to him. Ooh, am I a little too fast for you there, pal? No, what? I thought this was only an issue in zombies. I'm about to fuck that guy up. Check for an update on your own time. I'm trying to get camos. That dude probably just saw his life flash before his eyes. And I think it's frozen. Great, fantastic. Why does this happen? Guess we gotta try again. I'm not playing around this time. Okay, maybe I am playing around. I'm getting slapped this game. Everybody's sniping. I, I can't get close. Okay, so I had 22 kills that game, which might look good compared to the rest of my team. I'm pretty sure I had 40 deaths. 30 deaths. Close enough. I'm just getting dominated on terminal. I definitely should have waited for us. I'm leaving. Maybe we just do domination on hard point on some quick play because I ain't doing terminal. And would you look at that? We ended up getting rust anyways. Oh, we finally got our 50 kills. Damn. Now we can start working on our kills while they're affected by our tacticals. I think it's time we switch to our engineer vest. Let's see if we can actually get somebody with this. Nope, no hit marker there. What about this one? Nope, he just ran around and stabbed me. This sucks, because I'm getting like a decent amount of kills right now. I got no tacticals to use. Finally got our 
munition box. And already wasted it. It's weird. The munition box doesn't give me two tacticals, though, despite me spawning in with two. Maybe decoys are better? Because it does work in zombies for enemies affected by your uh, tacticals. So maybe if they're distracted. So I feel like even some of the enemies I'm throwing my flashes at, it's not getting them because they have, like, tack mask on. If I just toss decoys everywhere. Yeah, I'm seeing XP pop up. We'll see if this works. We did get a decoy distract right there. And this is actually probably more optimal because the decoys stay out longer than uh, Flash would. So as long as I'm like throwing these decoys everywhere, maybe they'll be distracted by them by the time I kill them. I mean, if anything, we're getting some XP here. I mean, it doesn't really help us too much because I'm already got this weapon fully leveled up and my player levels all the way as high as it goes. But maybe this will be good for weapon XP in the future. Now, if we have decent progress on this camo, then the decoys work. If we don't, and we're in for a rough time. So please say those were working. They were not. We got one kill. That's terrible. Decoys do not work. All right, so maybe stuns then. And after lobby shopping for a bit, I could not find any maps that would be better than Terminal. So I came crawling back. Oh, my Atlanta. I stunned somebody. There we go. Hopefully that counted. Motherfuck, dude. Ooh. Okay, stuns are definitely the way to get this done. Because you can visibly tell that they've been stunned. And it helps you close in the gap. Come here. No, why would you get me? I'm so tired of this camo. I'm over it. People were not lying when they said they hated this challenge. Ooh, that's a nice little double while they're stunned. Let's fucking go. I swear if these stuns don't count either, I'm gonna lose my mind. Ooh, I'm just too nasty. How? How'd that get me from so far away? That was my own stun. Don't seem to have that kind of range on other people. Ooh, let's go. I feel like we gotta be close. Oh, we just need three more. Okay, we can do this. Ooh, let's go. One right off the bat. Could have got two, but we just need two more. Let's go. Oh, come on. Let me get to the other guy. This guy has no idea. There we go. That should be it, right? That should be our gold camo. Let's fucking go. All right, let's switch to our gutter knife. Oh, keep it going. Come here. Let's go. Nice little quad. Oh, we finally got our 50 kills. Now we can start working on our stun kills with this knife. That was in a very aggressive body spray for nothing. I have four kills. No way, dude. I even sat there and waited patiently. And you just got picked off the second I went to swing. Oh, there's our gilded. Finally, we got it. Okay, we can start working on our forge camo. No more kills while they're stunned or whatever the fuck. I'm done. I'm not sure which challenge I need for this knife, but one of them I know I need five kills without dying five times. And the other one I need a few kills without taking any damage. Neither way, we're working on it right now. So I think I can officially switch these to smoke grenades. This should be so much easier than our tactical kills. That was ridiculous. Might as well throw Gilded on here too. We earned it. All right, we just got to make sure we don't die with this now. I felt like I could probably do better with this challenge without knowing that was the challenge. Or at least we only have to do it five times. So I'm pretty sure in Modern Warfare 2019, we had to do this like 20 times. So this should be a bit easier. Okay, we're on three. I'm playing like a coward, but it's working. We're on four. Actually, a bloodthirsty. What? Oh, there's another dude right there the whole time. Okay, maybe that was five. I'll take it. I won't complain. Oh, wait, we got forged. That was, huh? Okay. You know what? I won't question it. We definitely didn't get our five kills without dying five times, but if they're going to give it to us, I'm going to let them. It's karambit time. 
We need 20 kills without taking damage, which sounds pretty reasonable. But when you're making a beeline right at somebody, I know what that means now. Thanks for the comments. But if you're like eye to eye with somebody, you're guaranteed to take damage. So we basically need backstabs or to catch people off guard like that. Now, I wonder if that means taking any damage at all. Like if somebody shoots me and I sit there and I recover my health, does that count? Because they still technically damage me or just killing somebody and not taking any damage. I'm probably going to go with the second one. Whew. There we go. We're getting all of our kills on these red crash dummies. The real heroes. Ooh, actually. There we go. Oh, I took slight damage right there. That's stupid. Oh, wait, we got it? I swear I've been taking damage. Okay, well, these challenges gotta be bugged, I feel like. Bugged in a good way. Oh, and this guy's getting assassinated. Let me teabag him while it's happening. What a perfect end. And this guy thinks he's gonna kill me, but guess what? I'm already out of the game. Let me make sure that I'm not just seeing things. No shot, dude. All right, well, this is what our gutter knife looks like with the forge camo on it. If I stop flipping it around, eh, I'm still not the biggest fan of forge, but it looks decent on a knife. It looks like knife color, you know? And this is what our karambit looks like with forge camo. This one, I like it when you flip around. It's like that HR meme. And still... I mean, not the biggest fan of the camo, but it is very knife-esque in the color. It's not terrible. And just because we put our blood, sweat, and tears into it, here's gilded on the knives as well. This is a gutter knife with it. Looks way better than forged on it, to be honest. And of course, our karambit. Very beautiful looking weapon. Kind of wish the karambit was bigger though, not gonna lie. Little tiny baby karambit. So if you still got your melees to work on, I recommend doing it now before they find out that their forged challenge isn't working how it's supposed to, and it's in favor of us. Because usually when a challenge is bugged like this, you just can't unlock it. But apparently they made it way easier, because I was definitely not streaking very much with that. I maybe got like one five kill streak, maybe two. And I was for sure taking damage trying to get that forged camo for the karambit. So I don't know what's going on. All I know is that that tactical camo sucks, but I guess it balances out because a lot of the other challenges for all these other weapons have been very, very easy. So, so rest will be out by the time this video is out and it'll just make getting the rest of these way, way easier unless you're getting smacked around. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you in the next one. Later.